Hey there, welcome back. So do you consider yourself to be better, a better than average driver? Okay, how about this one? Do you consider yourself to be of above average intelligence? If you answered yes to those two questions, then you are not alone. In fact, most of us have the tendency to believe that we're better than average in most things. Sometimes we think we're better than we really are. The obvious egocentric explanation is that it makes us feel better about ourselves. But there's really something else going on. This tendency to think of ourselves as above average is a well-established bias. In fact, 90% of people believe that they are better than average drivers. It's impossible, right? But it's commonly referred to as illusory superiority or the better than average effect. And if you think about the very definition of average, it makes it statistically impossible for 90% of people to be above the medium for a specific quality. So check out this bell curve distribution of IQ scores in the general US population. The average IQ score is 100. And what this graph shows is that 68% of the population has a score between 85 and 115. In other words, almost 70% of the population is considered normal or average. But in a classic 1977 study, 94% of professors rated themselves above average in rela relation to their professor peers. And in a more recent study, 32% of the employees in a software company said they performed in the top 1% of their colleagues. 32% can't be in the top 1%. But what happens is we overestimate our abilities because we only see the external traits and circumstances and communication <clears throat> that guides other people's actions. But when it comes to ourselves, it's impossible not to consider things like intention and effort and desire and the challenges that we've overcome or the sense of agency. When we factor all of those things in, we think we sort of float above everyone else because we're putting far more effort into it. While it's not possible to get a completely clear-eyed view of oneself, experts maintain that the only way to see what you can't see is to enlist the help of others. So look to others whom you trust, who inspire admiration, and be vulnerable enough to ask them and be open to any honest feedback that they provide. The road to self-insight is in a solitary journey. Want to learn more about how the brain works and how to make it work better? Check out my book, Happier Hour with Einstein, and the full-color companion gratitude journal, available now on Amazon.